Yellow and welcome to my show Hello Yellow. Now people may argue that you can't have authentic Italian pesto without pine nuts. But did you know that pesto evolved to celebrate the rich bounty of the land? In keeping with the spirit that defines the sauce, I'm going to celebrate the rich bounty of my land by making pesto with the most relished fruit of Goa, the cashew nut. The journey of cashews to India began between 1563 and 1570 when Portuguese missionaries brought the plant from Brazil. In fact, the Portuguese first planted cashew trees to stop the erosion of topsoil caused by the strong Goan monsoons. We are here today at a cashew plantation on the Polvorim Plateau. And we are going to search for cashew nuts. Maybe this side. Oh, there's one. It isn't ripe, but I've got here a ripe one that's really nice. This is beautiful. I think today you can't imagine Goa without fenny and salted cashew nuts. So now we'll get a few more. This side. On top there, there's a red one. Kai, can you reach this? Perfect, one more. I found a really pretty Hello Yellow cashew nut. I'm going to pluck this one, it's really pretty. Every year by mid-March, the strong, sweet scent of cashew apples start flavoring the air in Goa. The true fruit of the cashew tree is what we call cashew nut, is a kidney-shaped root that grows at the end of a cashew apple. An interesting belief is that the edible value of the cashew nut was discovered by Goan prisoners exiled to the Portuguese territory of Africa and Mozambique during Goa's freedom movement in 1752. The prisoners tried them and used them as a regular food item. We have Goan freedom fighters to thank for introducing us to the buttery texture, satisfying crunch and Swedish flavor that is now a part of a variety of recipes. I'm at my farm in South Goa and I have planted some basil plants and I'm going to um, take some of those leaves for our pesto today. <sighs> Smells really nice. I really like the smell of the basil. It is so fresh and fragrant and it's going to make an amazing pesto. Today I will show you how to make pesto with our Goan cashew nuts. For this I'll be needing our uh, black pepper, then olive oil, salt, garlic, red chili, nutmeg powder and of course the cashew nuts and our basil leaves which I have over here. I have washed them and I've dried them. So I want to start with the cashew nuts. I'm going to use some garlic. I think two cloves are actually more than enough. I'm going to slice them a little bit so it is much easier to kind of grind it in later into the sauce. So our cashew nuts are nice and ground. I'm going to transfer them on another plate. I will now put in the garlic. I'm going to put in the basil as well. about this much. I think that'll be enough. We won't need all the cashew nuts. I'm going to just use one or two spoons. I'm going to add two pinch of nutmeg, maybe one generous pinch of chili powder, salt. And now I'm going to add olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to add pepper. I've just added little pepper because I'm going to add more pepper later as well. Now, very important is in a traditional pesto, you will use cheese as well. Now, I haven't used any cheese in my pesto sauce because there are a lot of people, especially in my restaurant, who don't prefer having cheese or who are vegan, and then I won't be able to serve the pesto sauce. So I decided that I make the pesto, which is an absolute vegan pesto, and then people can add their cheese on top of their pasta later as required. So I'm gonna cook the pasta now. Thank you. 
Okay, I think I'm going to call Kai and he's going to help me with this. So obviously we don't need to worry about making this too fine. But if you are uh, using a mixer, don't make it too fine. You want a little bit of bite to it, not like a chutney. So we are almost ready with our pesto sauce. I'm going to add one handful of cashew nuts and mix it with the sauce. So I have drained the pasta and I've added some olive oil to it so it doesn't stick. Let me taste it. Mmm, really nice, perfect. I don't even need more salt. The pasta is ready and uh, we've got a friend of ours joining us today, Raul. Mm. It's very, very tasty. Mm. Kai, how do you like it? It's very nice. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you for watching and please give this video a like. When you make this dish at home, for the full recipe, visit helloyellow.yellowmera.com. The link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed the little taste of Goa and the quick, easy and delicious recipe that you should definitely give a try. For more recipes, travel stories and Goa's best kept secret, please follow me on Instagram at helloyellowgoa for early previews and behind the scenes. See you very soon on a brand new episode of Hello Yellow. Yes, Thank you.